and they were just moving to Chijela and so on, but uh, Dr. Chin did not. Uh, it's always emotional on this day to speak and uh, <coughs> memories just flash in and uh, I had I had prepared as something to say on this but I think I will not read it because what I have written down is very similar to the statement of Kasha. So it's kind of a repetition and you may get tired. Uh, I think it's suffice to say the situation in Tibet is dire, very dire, very critical. We need the support of every freedom-loving people to free Tibet from the unjust occupation and oppression and torture. Uh, inflicted on the people of Tibet. In, in the 70s, when the ping pong diplomacy started, there was a hope that the issue of Tibet will be dealt diplomatically with the Shanghai Communist and but then in, the, in 2001, the United States government granted permanent most favored nation status to China. Until that time, since China had to renew the most favored nation status annually, by U.S. Congress, their human rights record are all scrutinized, and the Chinese, the United States Congress acted as a great um, force to respect the Chinese uh, inflicting inhuman sufferings on the Tibetans and other nationals. But since the US government granted the most favored nation status in 2001, the Chinese had no incentive to abide by the Universal Human Rights Declaration and act and, and then listen to the world's pressure you know, to uh, resolve the issue of Tibet through negotiation. Yesterday, when the Tibetans and friends of Tibet, supporters of Tibet, was <coughs> commemorating this 64th anniversary in Asia and Europe, the Chinese president he began his unprecedented third time as the Chinese president. And he, I think, unleashed the most heinous programs to annihilate Tibetan culture, Tibetan identity, Tibetan religion, Tibetan language as these were enumerated in the Kasha speech. And he will follow through more. I think now the Chinese leadership goal is to eradicate Tibetan as a race, as a nation, as a culture, which is very, very serious.
and also in their recent statements, they are challenging this very country. And we have recently seen the balloon spy, uh, spy, uh, spy, the balloon rotation, and all what is happening in Asia, other part. Maybe this will turn to be positive in some ways, but may be we will be in a bitter cold war or to the extreme of going into nuclear war with all this. So, so we need more support. Uh, and uh, so, and uh, I want to say something in Tibetan to our Tibetan brothers and sisters here. I want to say something in Tibetan to our Tibetan brothers and sisters here. ยกตุ๊กชิงตานัดตั้งวันเลยตุ๊กตั้งจิกยงกิโดติงวันตุ๊กทั้งเลยเอ่อพนมตะพุกุชิโดติกะเรสนะงารันติจิโดดินนังละ
and many individuals I know who have devoted their life for the cause of Tibet, non-Tibetans I'm talking. There are many non-profit organizations, there are many activities who take the cause of Tibet. Because His Holiness has said, the cause of Tibet is not, um, not something that you support only the Tibetan freedom, Tibetan culture, religion, but you support justice and truth. Truth and justice must prevail and truth and justice must be the year that we break in and we live by. And thank you for all your support, for all your uh, sacrifices that have been made, and then I pay my homage. And remember their gratitude, the Tibetans, in every walk of life, who sacrificed their life under the Chinese colonial condo for the freedom and to, for the sake of Tibet. We pay our respect. We slowly recognize their condition. As for me, until I breathe my last, I will never forget their sacrifices. We always, every time, every day, we remember that, pray for that. Please do that, you guys do that. Thank you. Sorry for this.